Hey there friends, Angus here from Adio Media. Over this next couple of weeks, I'm going to be releasing a few extra episodes of the Marketing Your Practice podcast to help serve any of those amongst us that might be feeling a little anxious, stressed or overwhelmed or perhaps those amongst us who might appreciate to hear my thoughts during these tricky times. What our communities need right now is leadership and compassion and direction. And I think that we as natural health practitioners, as chiropractors, as naturopaths, Chinese med practitioners, as wellness experts, I want to remind you that we have a really important role to play during these times. Now, as always, friends, thanks for all that you continue to do. Keep saving lives. And here's my thoughts right now. Hey, gang, Angus here from Adio Media. If you're a health practitioner currently looking after patients, then I want you to set aside the next two, maybe three minutes tops. I've got a really, really important message to share with you. An hour or so ago, I got back from uh, my morning in practice, and in 22 years of practice, I have never felt such a level of fear and overwhelm in my patients than what I'm feeling right now. My guess is that your patients, much like mine, are being bombarded with information in around coronavirus. Now, all of it is terrifying, and unfortunately, only some of it is true. But there's one really important piece that is either being missed out or is being put to the side or is really not being spoken about. That's what I want to talk about in this video here, as well as invite you to step up even more into a leadership role. Now, before we talk about that or leading into that, I want to share um, a piece of research here for you that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine, prestigious New England Journal of Medicine there too, published in 1991. So it's a few years old, but you'll see it won't matter when I start talking about it here in a moment. The title of the article was Psychological Stress and susceptibility to the common cold. What they wanted to see is, was there a relationship between how stressed people were and whether they were likely to get a cold or not? So 370 odd people volunteered for this study. They had one of five different viruses flushed up their nose and through their sinuses. Before that was done, um, they undertook a bunch of tests to look at the amount of psychological stress they're under. Here's the kicker gang. One of the actual viruses that was flushed up through their nose was a coronavirus. Not the coronavirus that's going around now, but another coronavirus nonetheless. Now, here's, here's, there's a couple of really interesting things that came out of the study. First of all, not everyone got sick. Okay, so I, I want you to get that. Even though people had this stuff flushed up their nose and through their sinuses, sometimes there are a bunch of people, up to 25%, that still didn't get sick. Now, we're worried about people breathing on us or coughing on us and sneezing on us. Now, if the body, if it has enough vitality about it, can even have those viruses stuck up its nose and not get sick, then we need to be telling our community about that. The second amazing thing was, is there was a direct relationship between how stressed stressed somebody was and whether they got sick or not, the intensity of the symptoms, how long they lasted. The third thing was, is that psychological stress was the only thing or was a better predictor of how long and how severe somebody's got sick than any other lifestyle stress. Get this, whether they're overweight, whether they were a smoker, what their diet was like, all those kind of things there too. Our community is constantly being told that they have no control over their health, that really their health comes from somebody else, a pill, a potion, a lotion, a vaccine, a this or that. Instead of being told that we have uh, dominion over our own body, the case studies that are coming out of China at the moment are showing this, the people that are most likely to get sick, and not just the old, but they're most likely people who are overweight, who are stressed, who are uh, cigarette smokers. They're people with really lousy lifestyle habits. So what does it mean? It means that you and I as health practitioners now more than ever need to be stepping up and sharing some hope with our audiences and telling them, hey, listen, you're way more in control than what you think about your health there as well. And there are a bunch of evidence based strategies that you can take. You know, even if we look at that stress, do a quick search and uh, do a quick search on terms of what things will decrease stress. You know, gratitude to meditation to deep breathing, even planning. Do you know what? Even getting a planner and doing to-do list actually decreases stress. So there's a whole bunch of these strategies that we can be sharing with our patients. I mean, look, if you're a body worker, then we know things as simple as pain, lack of alignment, posture. All these things can have an impact on the immune system as well. So. 
What's the message? Okay, so many of you are reaching out to me wanting to know how you can position yourself as a leader in your community, as a health thought leader as well. Well, now is the time that your community needs you to step up, okay? There's stunning bits of information and research just like this and many others that can arm our communities and can start to push the fear aside and tell them that they're in control. And whilst this might not guarantee that they might not get coronavirus, you know, if they get it, they're going to be way less impacted by it. In fact, the research probably suggests that for the vast majority of healthy adults, if we end up with coronavirus, it's probably only going to be the sniffles anyway. Okay, now's the time to stay in love, to stay in service, to stay in care and not in fear, and to share a message of hope and direction strategies for your patients and for people in your community as well. That article I was talking about, the New England Journal of Medicine, uh, August 29, 1991, Psychological Stress and the Susceptibility to the Common Cold. The lead author was Cohen, C-O-H-E-N, stunning stuff. You should read it, you should talk to this, and you should be talking to your patients about lots of things they can do to improve their vitality, one of which is probably coming to see you for your help. As always, gang, thanks for all that you do. Your community really does need you. See you soon. If you enjoyed listening to this podcast, you have to come and check out the Community Influencer Program. It's my monthly coaching program where we take all this material and I'll work one-on-one with you to apply, implement, systematize, and help guide you and your practice to the next level. Now, you can join me on over at adiomedia.com forward slash join. That's adiomedia.com forward slash join. I'd love to see you in there.